Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Channel Codex. This is your host Afzal and in today's video, we're going to talk about the GetX package and the use of GetX, what is the benefits, why people around the globe is talking about GetX. So this will be introduction video about GetX if you want to know more about state management and route management, dependency injection, all those stuff. So make sure to subscribe the channel and because this video I have planned only for members. So thank you so much if you are a member of the channel. So let's begin today's video right after this intro all right so we have heard a lot about getx in recent time people are saying this is the best uh package for state management some people are saying it's very simple it's very easy to use then i thought okay let's try it in one of my project and i found to be honest it's very very easy to use and it gives the flexibility to developer okay so what i'm going to do now is show this little presentation which i made and then we'll discuss about different features of getx so let's begin first question why we need getx flutter itself is a very powerful tool you can achieve a lot of things with just few lines of code then why we need getx because getx further simplifies the thing for something like pushing a new page into the stack there's a lot of code you have to write maybe for state management if you use a stream controller provider those all things uh, requires a lot of boilerplate code so getx what it did it just reduced that and with simple package you can achieve a lot of feature it is fast it takes very less space like uh, even if you add the getx package inside your application it's not going to uh, increase your app size you know not that much of course so let's dive in and look at the features which getx has to offer us so the first and foremost feature state management of course out of the box state management works like a charm for getx you just create a controller use it anywhere it's very very awesome you must use it second one is the route management it's it's known for its simplicity you just mention two keywords and you're able to move to the second page which was like previously if you see uh, we have to write a lot of code for that third thing is dependency management like you just put something something you want later in the program or maybe you are in the shopping page and at the payment time you want some information about that shopping cart of course you can do with the help of dependency management and apart from that this these three were the building blocks apart from that they offer internationalization like you can put all the uh, translation in your application you can use validation storage and there's a lot of feature packed inside getx so i will recommend you guys to go ahead and try for yourself and i'm going to create tutorial for all these three like state management route management and dependency management and of course some of the utilities as well and let's talk about these uh, features one by one in a nutshell so if you see the state management and here is the example of simple controller you just have one count variable and if you notice count equal to zero but there's a obs which makes it observable so any place inside your user interface if you are listening to the count whenever it updates it going to update automatically without having to refresh entire page so just with these two lines of code you can have the default counter application which flutter gives that you can achieve with just two lines of code with a state management so there's a different way to listen to the data one is the git builder which takes very less uh, memory and it's very fast as well second one is getx which is a reactive approach so it will continuously be listening uh, to your data and third one is obx which is again a reactive but it's much faster and it has very few lines of code and you can just update your data when you want okay so we will talk in detail when we are implementing this in our next tutorial let's move to the next feature which getx has to offer the route management so previously we used to write this many lines of code to just move from one page to other page and now with the help of getx you can achieve that with just one line of code literally one line get to cart page and it's readable as well right no repeating context no use of material page route and all those boilerplate code you just say get to cart page and you are there it's that simple let's move to dependency management of course you can put any class like if you want that functionality to be used in other class you just say get dot put and your class name instance of that class and get will hold that instance in the memory and there apart from this 
three pillar features they have a lot of other feature as well so if you talk about internationalization you can put all your translation in your uh, class like translation class and that you can use inside your application anywhere you want so as soon as you change the locale of your app this is going to reflect immediately apart from that you can change the theme of application the dialogues the snack bar and all those features you get out of the box inside getx and if you add getx storage you can store all the data as well in the key value pair so overall in a nutshell getx is very handy to use it's very easy and what i like the most is uh, like two things i like the most about getx first one is the simplicity how with just few lines of code you can achieve a great feature and second thing it uses mvc pattern like you can literally separate your code you're not writing any update inside your model you're not writing anything inside your view there's a controller there's a model and there's a view so that's all about getx package i will recommend you guys to try yourself and if you want to listen from me i'm going to create state management route management and maybe other utilities uh, tutorial for that so stay tuned subscribe the channel if you haven't already and if you're a member thank you so much for joining the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one